Namaskar. Welcome to Yogi Sec. Today we are going to learn about authentication bypass vulnerabilities. Moving on to the topic, what is authentication? Authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a given user or a client. In other words, it involves making sure that they really are who they claim to be. But in many areas of web development, logic flaws will simply cause a website to behave unexpectedly, which may or may not be a security issue. But how do authentication vulnerability arise? Most vulnerabilities in authentication mechanism arise in one of the two ways. The authentication mechanism are weak because they fail to adequately protect against brute force attack. But number two, logic flaws or poor coding in the implementation allow the authenticated mechanism to be bypassed entirely by an attacker. This is sometimes referred to as broken authentication. In this video, we are going to learn about five different ways or approach to hunt for authentication vulnerabilities out in the wild. Let's look at the different methods. Method number one, response manipulation. So what happens here? Sometimes server doesn't check the input given at the client side or it's modified in between and take decisions by that, leading to arise the respective vulnerability. Also taking decisions only by Boolean values or by a number also leads to arise this vulnerability. Example, like changing value in the response from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, changing value from false to true, error to success, and etc. conditions. So this is our target website and we have already registered and logged into an account. We'll go to the profile details. There we'll try to add a random phone number here. We'll click on this verify mobile. Now we'll give any random OTP. We are seeing that invalid OTP means server is verifying the integrity of the OTP. Okay. So we'll click on this verify mobile once again. and we will give random OTP once again but we will intercept the request to have Bob suit and I will also intercept response to this request in the JSON data I will change the false to true and will forward the request we can see that the number is verified but we will add some details in profile let's click on save to confirm it and we can see that we have successfully added the phone number bypassing the OTP that's all for this practice Method number 2 MFA code leakage in response. So, what happens here? Sometimes different applications reveal the verification code or OTP in the response itself, leading to perform various attacks by an attacker. Let's look over its practical. So, this is our target website, and I will try to create an account here. So, let's copy an email. put a name let's put a random mobile number now what I will do I will try it. I will turn my intercept on and I will click on get code And I will intercept this request in my Bob. Now what I will do, I will intercept response to this request and forward the request. And we can see in the response we have got the code. So let's copy this and forward the request. 
let's paste the verification code here let's give a random password and submit the request now let's see if our account has been successfully created or not so let's copy the email and we can see we have successfully created the account by bypassing the OTP that's all for this practical video method number 3 brute forcing MFA code so what happens here sometimes application do not limit the request from the client side on particular endpoints and absence of proper rate limiting leads to brute forcing the MFA code which further leads to malicious attack so let's look at the practical so this is our target side and we have already created an account here so we'll try to log into that account so this is our phone number so let's send an OTP here we can see as well OTP has been sent to that particular number so let's give a password like any one time password I'll turn my pop suit on and I will capture this request in my bar now I will send this request to intruder I have cleared this I will select the payload position I will select the payload type as number from 1 to 9999 let's give the step as 1 I will keep thread to 500 and now let's start the attack so our attack has been started so it will take some time until its completion So we can see that our attack has been completed. Now I will try to filter the response. And we can see we have got a 200 response on the position 4075. Okay, so we'll go back to our power proxy. And I will try to I will change the OTP number to 4075 and I will forward the request. Let's turn my intercept off and we can see that we have successfully got into the account. We can say this. So due to the absence of rate limiting, we have successfully brute forced the OTP and that's how we get a complete account takeover. That's it for this practical. Method number 4. Sensitive information within JavaScript files and GitHub repository. So what is it? Sometimes developer hide hard-coded credentials, secret endpoints or unauthenticated admin panel leak within JavaScript file. Sometimes also developer or company's GitHub repositories containing sensitive information regarding their site remains in the public. Or if for example, organization API keys or any third party service they are using like AWS, Heroku, Firebase, etc. API keys, hard coded passwords of the TLDs or its subdomain, or authentication token or insecure admin panel link, etc. are sometimes found in public GitHub repositories or within JavaScript files. Practical, we will use a port figure lab for this demonstration. We will try to find the admin panel of this lab which is unprotected. So if we check the default admin endpoint, so it is slash admin, we are not seeing anything. Okay, so we will try to look at the JavaScript file of this site. So I'll view the page source and if we observe it carefully we can find the admin panel endpoint 
I will copy this and I will paste it on our URL and hit enter and we can see we have successfully accessed the admin panel which is unprotected so to solve the lab we need to delete the user card loss and we have successfully solved the lab so in real life if you try to find the javascript file on a large target it will be hassling it will be a quite a hassling task to go through fetch sort and analyze all the javascript file one by one so what we will do here we will use a tool known as jsf scan visit this repository and you can use this tool this tool will analyze all the javascript file and will make a report which you can view in browser so this is a very good tool to use and that's it for this practical method number 5 authentication bypass via host header injection we will see an instant of password reset poisoning for this vulnerabilities demo so suppose you have an account over a vulnerable site and suppose attacker has your email address you will be sent a reset password link by the attacker when you click on that link the unique reset password token will be sent to the attacker server and attacker will perform a simple account takeover but how did this happen the attacker injected his server url in the header of the password reset link request and the vulnerable site server sent you the recent link and you simply click on that so let's see how this work on a real domain so this is our target site and i have already created an account here on this site using this temporary mail so what i will try to do i will try to reset the password here so let's give the registered mail let's copy the mail from here i will turn my proxy on and intercept on in box click on reset password so i will send this request to repeater and i will add an header x forward at host and after that i will put a bar collaborator link Now send this request. Here our collaborator is act as an attacking server. So in response we can see the collaborator link. So in proxy will drop the request. Now I will go to our temporary mail, and we can see a password reset confirmation mail has been sent. And here we can see the password reset link. and you can see our collaborator link is in front of it so if i click on this i will get some nothing but back in our collaborator server if i click on pull now we are getting interaction and if we check the request we can see we are getting the cs the password is a token here and if an attacker can abuse this vulnerability and will get the 15 password reset token and he can perform an account takeover by this method so far we have discussed five different ways to hunt for authentication bypasses apart from this there exist other methods too and that list is pretty long so if you want to learn more about such methods then comment down for part 2 i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed it share it to your friends We will meet again with another video till then thank you and keep hacking